Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Saints of the Summer. Today is July the 30th. Our saint of the day is St. Peter Chrysologus. He lived between 406 and 450, just 44 years. But he got a lot done in those 44 years. He was ordained a deacon at a very young age. And he worked in the city of Ravenna. Ravenna at that time was the imperial seat of power in the Roman Empire for Italy. The capital was Constantinople. The emperors had left Rome 100 years before with Constantine. But they had kept a uh, very important fortification in walled city in Ravenna. And that's where the imperial governor would be. And from time to time, the emperor himself would visit uh, Ravenna. Uh, Rome at uh, this time was between various barbarian occupations. So Ravenna was the place to be for imperial authority, and that's where Peter was. Um, he was a man of visions, and he had a vision that he was going to be made the bishop of Ravenna. Uh, when, the first, when the bishop died at that time, the people elected their bishop. And back then, the people, the Christians, would gather together and elect their bishop. But Pope Sixtus II over, overruled that election and appointed Peter the Bishop of Ravenna. So here we have you know, the papal authority, the Pope appointing bishops. Uh, now, the emperor at that time was a very powerful man, and Peter had a lot of things he wanted to do in Ravenna, including a lot of building projects. He wanted to build a hospital, and he wanted to expand one of the churches. And this was going to, of course, cost money, and the emperor wasn't so inclined to give that money. He had many other concerns in, in his vast empire, and including trying to recapture Rome. But his homilies, and boy, Peter could preach, uh, found an open ear in the empress Placidia. Placidia, the empress, was very impressed with Peter's preaching. And as a result, took some of her money and was able to let Peter fulfill all of his building projects. Many of Peter's homilies have been recorded and have been used in past centuries in courses in homiletics. 